it's mathematics time and for this video we will learn about transforming quadratic functions defined by y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c into the form y is equal to a times the square of x minus h plus k so yung ating quadratic function na nakasulat in this form, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, ay gagawin natin or itatransform natin into y is equal to a times the square of x minus h plus k. Ito yung tinatawag nating vertex form. Wherein yung h and k natin yung ating vertex. Kaya by just looking at this equation, ma-identify na agad natin kung ano yung vertex ng ating quadratic function. Kaya paano nga ba natin itatransform yung ating equation into vertex form? Let's see our examples. Number one example natin is y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 10. Actually, may dalawang ways para magawa natin to, para matransform natin to into vertex form. Yung unang way is by completing the square, tapos yung pangalawa naman is by using the formula of h and k. Unahin muna natin itong by completing the square. Ito yung first solution natin. First step is to group the terms containing the x. Ito yung ating equation, ibukod natin yung may mga variable na x or may mga variable. Dito, nilagyan natin sila ng parentheses. Ayan. Nag-group na natin sila. Then, factor out A. If A is equal to 1, proceed to step 3. Dito sa ating equation, ang A natin ay equal sa 1. Paano na sabi na equal sa 1 yung A natin? Saan ba makikita ang value ni A? Makikita natin ang value ni A dito sa tabi ni x squared. Yung number na nasa tabi ni x squared, yun yung A natin, ba? So, dahil walang nakasulat na number, obviously, 1 yung ating A. Pero kung greater than 1, yung A natin, nilambawa 2x squared, kailangan yung i-factor out. Ngayon, punta tayo sa third step. Sabi dito, we need to complete the expression in the parentheses to make it a perfect square trinomial by adding the square of 1 of one half b and by subtracting the value a times the square of 1 half b to the constant term. Itong nasa loob ng parenthesis natin na x squared minus 4x kailangan tong maging perfect square trinomial. Paano yan magiging perfect square trinomial? To make this perfect square trinomial, Ito, gagamitin natin yung formula natin na square of 1 half b. Okay, yung b natin, ito times natin sa 1 half, tapos i-squared natin. Pag nakuha natin yun, yung 1 half times b, then yung square niya, ilalagay natin yun dito sa loob ng parenthesis. Idadagdag natin siya dito sa loob ng parenthesis. Tapos, ima-minus naman natin yung nakuha natin na square of 1 half b times yung a dito sa constant term. Para maintindihan natin, i-apply natin dito sa ating problem. ba ang b natin is negative 4. Yung b ay nasa tabi ng x. So, negative 4. Tapos, i-substitute lang natin dito sa formula natin, 1 half times nung negative 4. Pagkatapos, I-square natin, ayan yun, 1 half times na negative 4 is negative 2 squared. Diba? Negative 2 squared is, i-simplify natin, magiging 4. etong 4, yung idadagdag natin dun sa ating parentheses. Ayan, kaya meron tayo dito 4. Pero, dun sa constant term, dito, hindi add ang gagawin natin. Ang gagawin natin is subtract. Again, i-add natin dito yung sagot dun sa square of 1 half b. Tapos, dito naman, isusubtract natin yung square of 1 half b, then times a. Kaya, 4 pa rin. Next, simplify na natin, syempre. Makikita nga natin na perfect square trinomial na siya, ba? So, ito na. Simplify and express the perfect square trinomial as a square of binomial. 
Itong nasa loob ng parenthesis natin ay PST or perfect square trinomial na. Ang gagawin natin is to express it as a square of binomial. Ito na yung square of binomial natin, square of x minus 2, tapos 10, negative 10 minus 4 is a negative 14. Ngayon, itong 4 natin, finactor out lang natin, na dapat ang sum ay negative 4, kaya negative 2 yung ginamit natin. Or para mas madali, yung kaninang formula natin na square of 1 half b, yung sagot natin doon, bago natin ay squared, ito, yung negative 2, ayan yung pwede natin gamitin, or yung number natin na gagamitin to make the PST as a square of binomial. Kaya ito na yung ating answer. Y is equal to the square of x minus 2 minus 14. Yung minus 14, nakuha natin yon sa negative 10 minus 4. Kaya naging negative 14. Ayan, so vertex form na yung ating equation. Nagawa na natin siya into vertex form. Ganun lang yung mga dapat natin gawin. Next, let's have another one. What if yung A natin is greater than 1? Katulad nitong example number 2 natin. Y is equal to 3x squared minus 6x plus 8. Unang gawin natin is to group the terms containing the x. Lagyan natin ng parentheses or ilagay sa loob ng parentheses yung may mga x or variable. At makikita nga natin na yung A natin dito ay positive 3. Ang A ay makikita sa tabi ni x squared. Then, factor out A. If A is equal to 1, proceed to step 3. Ang A natin dito is not equal to 1. Kaya hindi tayo agad-agad magpo-proceed sa step 3. I-factor out muna natin yung ating A. To factor this out, i-divide natin yung both terms sa value ng A natin. Ang A natin is 3. Kaya divide natin both terms sa 3. Value ng A natin na 3, ilagay natin dito sa labas before nung parentheses. Ayan. And simplify natin. 3 divided by 3 is... O, oh, 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared. The negative 6x divided by 3 is negative 2x. Then, copy plus 8. Makikita natin ano, meron siyang number sa labas ng parentheses. Ang susunod is to complete the expression in the parentheses to make it a perfect square trinomial by adding the square of 1 half b and by subtracting the value a times the square of 1 half b to the constant term. Ayan. Again, napakahalaga ng formula natin na square of 1 half b kasi gagamitin natin yon to make this perfect square trinomial. Yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, kailangan maging perfect square trinomial. Ayan, madadagdagan to ng number, tapos sa constant term, mababawasan ng number. Kunin na natin yung square of 1 half b. Ang b natin is negative 2. Substitute lang natin sa ating formula, 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1. Then, yung square natin, negative 1 squared, is equal to positive 1. etong positive 1 natin, ang idadagdag natin dun sa ating parenthesis. But, sa constant term, ita times natin yung 1 dun sa ating a. Ano ba yung a natin? Ang a natin is 3. Kaya, ita times natin yung 3 times nung 1, yung nakuha natin na square of 1 half b. Kaya makikita nyo rito, nakalagay 3 times 1. Ito yung isusubtract natin dun sa constant. Pero yung 1, idadagdag natin dun sa may parenthesis. Ayan, ito. Kaya may minus 3. Tapos ito yung dinagdag natin na 1. Isubtract natin yung a times the square of 1 half b, which is 3 yung lumabas. So, subtract. Kaya meron tayong 8 minus 3. Now that we have a perfect square trinomial, itong nasa loob ng parenthesis natin ay PST na. Siyempre, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, ay simplify and express the perfect square trinomial as the square of binomial. Itong nasa loob ng parenthesis, gawin nating square of binomial. Para hindi na tayo mag-factor-factor, kunin na lang natin yung sagot natin sa 1 half 
B. Di ba ang sagot natin sa 1 half B is negative 1? So, yun na yung gamitin nating number para sa square of binomial. Then, just copy 3. Okay? Then, square of X minus 1. At ito, huwag kalimutan is 8 minus 3 natin is 5. Kaya, this is the answer. 3 times the square of X minus 1 plus 5. Okay. So, na-convert na natin or na-transform na natin yung ating equation into vertex form. So, ito yung unang way of solving or transforming our equation. Ginagamita natin nung process na katulad ng sa completing the square or ginagawa nating perfect square trinomial yung ating given. Ngayon, bukod sa by using completing the square, pwede din naman na gamitin natin ng formula. Ito yung pangalawang way using the formula of H and K. So, balikan natin yung example number 1 natin kanina. Y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 10. Then, gamitin natin yung solution number 2. Una, ang gagawin natin is to identify the values of A, B, and C. Given this equation, Y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 10. Ang A natin is 1, B is negative 4, and C is negative 10. After identifying the values, we need to find the h using the formula h is equal to negative p over 2a. Ito yung mahalagang formula natin sa h. Negative b over 2a. Substitute lang natin yung mga values ng a, b, and c o ng b and a. So we have negative. Yung negative ay nasa formula na yan. So hindi mawawala. Then yung b is negative 4. Then 2, constant na yun or nandun na yun lagi, times 1 simplify natin. Negative times negative 4 is positive 4 divided by 2. The answer is 2. That's why we have h is equal to 2. Next, ang kukuni naman natin is si k. Find the k using the formula k is equal to 4ac minus b squared over 4a. So, ganun ulit. Palit-palitan lang natin yung ating mga variables. Palitan natin ng mga values nila. So, yung 4, nasa formula na yon. Then, yung A is 1. B is, ah, uh, no, C is negative 10. Minus, yung B is negative 4 squared over 4 times yung A, which is 1. Then, simplify. Unahin natin yung mga nasa parentheses. That's why we have negative 10. Tapos, ito, negative 4 squared is positive 16. Then, simplify it again. We have... Negative 40 minus 16 over 4. And the answer here is negative 56 over 4. And simplify na natin. Ang magiging value ng k natin is equal to negative 14. Nakuha na natin yung h kanina. Yung h is 2. Tapos itong k is negative 14. Ano nang susunod na gagawin? Substitute the solved value of h and k in the equation y is equal to a times the square of x minus h plus k. Diba ang h na nakuha natin is 2, tapos ang k naman is negative 14. Ito yung equation ng vertex form. Papalitan lang natin yung h nung nakuha nating value. Then papalitan natin yung k nung nasolve din natin na k. So copy-copy lang tayo. Yung a, x, copy lang natin, then minus 2, sa formula is minus yan. Kaya kung positive 2 to, lalagay natin minus 2. Pero just in case, halimbawa negative 2 yung h, magiging positive 2 or plus. Then yung ating k is negative 14, kaya meron tayong minus 14. So, pareho lang din yung solution, ba? Ganito rin yung answer natin kanina dun sa ating first example. So, pwedeng... Either of the two, kung gusto nyo yung kaninang ginawa natin, yung completing the square, pwede yun. Or pwede rin naman by using the formula of H and K. Ayan, natutunan na natin kung paano mag-transform into vertex form. Ngayon, it's your turn. Try nyo tong isolve or go going vertex form. Y is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 3. Lagay nyo sa ating comment section. Yung inyong answer. Ngayon, paano naman kung halimbawa, vertex form siya nakasulat, tapos gagawin nating y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Ayan, ito yung next topic natin. Papaliwanag ko sa susunod na video naman natin kung paano naman natin 
i-transform yung vertex form into y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Kaya, kita-kita tayo ulit next time and huwag magsawang matuto sa mathematics. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye!